Okay, so I'm doing a magnets on a Linux, two Linux gas furnaces. There's another one down there. This is the three ton, and you can see where it increases from three to four inch, but must have been an old ice. Yeah, I see the panels, an old ICP here that would do that. So instead of replacing the elbow, look at the gap right here. And he just put some, uh, look at that, it's falling off. He just put some poopy tape on it. So that's gonna have to be corrected. It won't happen today, but I will give a quote to the customer to refix this. And uh, we'll return another day. I've got too many calls to sit here and do this right now. So it's a couple days later. And y'all remember that B-Vent I showed y'all on that furnace down there? This is the four ton. Four ton system. This one has a weak blower capacitor. I'm almost positive it's a 7.5. That's what I brought up here. So I hope that's what it is. But I'm almost positive that's what it was and it was reading like four something. So we're gonna replace the capacitor on this one. I got a new B-Vent elbow to go over there because if you remember, see, he did this one right, four inch on four, but then they did four to three and it doesn't fit and they taped it. So. Found this on maintenance checkup. It is a 7.5. All right. So we can just, well, let's pull these off first. Okay. Loosen it up a little bit more. Five, and it was reading about four something. So we have a new seven point five American made Mars. It says jarred on it. Well, this is a jarred. I think this is well, this may be a Mexican made. Yep, it's a Mexico one. Right there. But that's okay, I've had good luck with these. It's like, okay. That one wants to fit a more snug. Keep it to where you can see the size. There we go. All right. So there it is. We'll plug up one and 
two, and this one's done. New capacitors in. Put one up there. Set you guys back up here while I put the covers back on. I see up there. is a little cantankerous. So we got that one put back together. She's ready to run. You can see the, uh, well, yeah, we got a nice light, so we're good. Home warranty company. Total junk work. Okay, now we're gonna make our way across that catwalk to that one with the B vent. Yeah, I can see the reducer. Changed out the TXV on this coil over the side. It was slammed shut. There we go. Reducer came right off. And then that will just come off from the tape. Put that up on the catwalk. See what we can do here. There we go. I got it to snap. Twist it. There we go. Oh yeah, all right, and we'll put some screws in it.
Okay, well it fought me because that pookie tape, I was using these bit tip screws. Well, you can't really, I was using these bit tip screws right here and they kept sliding on the pookie, but I got two screws in it and she ain't going nowhere. I got one, two, and then a third one right here. So that looks much better than what was there. It kinda, but that's okay. That's not gonna hurt nothing. Okay. Well, this job is done. Vince fixed new capacitor. He's good to go. Okay, here's the elbow we pulled out. Three inch, this is where it was attached to the furnace with pookie tape. And then they used a three to four increaser. Cause that's how the old furnace was. It came out three inch. But this furnace is four all the way. And you can see the plumbing strap they put on it to hold it in place or attempt to hold it in place. But we got it taken care of. All right, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.